This is AP News Minute. Some beaches have been crowded this Memorial Day weekend, even as the U.S. coronavirus death toll nears 100,000. White House Coronavirus Task Force Coordinator Dr. Deborah Burks says the crowds have her very concerned. President Trump's Memorial Day plans include visits to Arlington National Cemetery and Baltimore. Baltimore's mayor asked the president not to come, since so many city residents have been told to limit travel. Fishermen in San Francisco say a fire destroyed the fishing gear used to catch about two-thirds of the city's fresh seafood. The fire tore through a warehouse on Fisherman's Wharf on Saturday. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern didn't let an earthquake disrupt her Monday morning interview. Ardern called the magnitude 5.6 quake quite a decent shake and then kept talking. Rita Foley, the Associated Press with AP News Minute. This is BBC World News. The headlines. A meeting of the British Cabinet today to discuss the relaxing of lockdown measures is being overshadowed by calls for the Prime Minister's chief advisor to resign for breaking coronavirus restrictions. Ministers say Boris Johnson's defence of Dominic Cummings undermines the government's message. Greece is reopening its islands to domestic tourists today in the latest move towards ending its lockdown restrictions. But most international flights won't resume until the middle of June. Brazil's coronavirus death toll is continuing to rise. The U.S. has imposed travel restrictions on foreign nationals who have been to Brazil in the last 14 days. As the number of people who've died from the virus in the U.S. nears 100,000, there's concern over the possible consequences of Americans not obeying the social distancing rules that have been reinforced as the country eases out of lockdown. Could this be how a restaurant table for one looks in the near future? French designer Christophe Gagnon says his oversized lampshade of transparent plastic will keep diners safe. And unlike some other designs on the market, he reckons they look pretty chic too. Some of the designs I've seen look like we're in prison, and it doesn't tempt me to go and eat in a prison visiting room. I said to myself, Maybe we can make it more glamorous, prettier, more poetic. The design will go into production within days, and Gagnon says he's received interest from as far afield as Canada, Japan and Argentina. France has begun to relax some of its lockdown restrictions. But the government is yet to green light the reopening of all restaurants and bars because of the problems they pose for disease control.